Hello, uh, this is a note about another note in a sequence of uh, short videos I'm making on how we, uh, how we live in a new charting era when the traditional paper charts have all been discontinued. Uh, most of them are gone now, um, and so the presumption is we will move on to using uh, ENC, electronic navigational charts, or we will make our own paper charts from the latest ENC data uh, using the uh, in NOAA custom chart app, which is discussed, we discussed elsewhere. But for the moment now, I want to just cover how to get a copy of a discontinued chart. And so there is uh, an article here. Oh, well, let me just show, for example, the, the situation with the charts here. I, oh, okay, I'm backing up. Here I'm sitting on, a, on a, one of our links, starpath.com slash get charts. This is our portal to all issues related to uh, charting. And so the very first one, interactive charts. And then if I look at paper charts up here, now these black means they're all gone. They're the last editions. They're... Uh, most of these are months old, never been, uh, have not been updated. But if you look in, like, for example, Puget Sound here, where we live, right in here, there used to be a whole bunch of charts in here. And I'm going to show that in a moment, by the way. But right now, there's just this one chart of uh, what is this scale, 1 to 700,000. It's an ocean chart, basically. And so there are no charts. And so uh, I want to come back and how it how what what we do about that if we want a vision if we want a copy of one of the last last edition charts that existed the ones we were used to before they were discontinued now the charts that we get that way keep in mind they're going to be outdated uh, but there's still reasons you might want to might want to look at them and so if you know and the and the process that i'm discussing is actually in a link here called How to Get a Copy of a Discontinued Chart. And if you look at that, you'll see what basically I'm doing a video illustration of this text article. And notice this part one. If I know the name of the chart I want, I can go straight to part three and get it. But it's even better than that. If you know the name of the chart you want a copy of, and you don't mind paying full chart price, then you can go on this list to uh, print on demand paper chart. These are the people that do the print on demand. And then go down the list to this one, NCC. These are people that are prepared to print the old ones for you. These, some of these others might, but these guys will. And so any one of these, you just click that and say, I want a copy of the, of the old discontinued chart, uh, 12304 up in um, Delaware Bay. Where, that's in Delaware Bay. Uh, and I want a copy of that. And then you pay regular chart price, $25, $28 or something, and they'll print one for you and send it to you. But that doesn't get it into your navigation program. So that's not an RNC. That's just a copy, a hard copy of the paper chart. What I want to discuss here is how you would get a paper chart on your own if you want it, and also how to ultimately then how to make that into an RNC that you can navigate with. So... Uh, so if we look, if we're back at this article, question one, if you know the name of the chart, then you're done. That, then you can go to what's step three down here at the bottom. But let's start out now, because as time goes by, we won't even know, we won't even remember what charts were covered where. What, what, in other words, what charts did exist before they all went away. There is not a nice link on NOAA's site that I know of to, to discover that. If you know the name of a chart or the number of a chart, you can certainly go and see if it's when it was discontinued, when it was discontinued, or if it's one of the hundred or so left, it'll tell you you can still download it. But um, otherwise, so anyway, so here we've got a trick. And so the trick we're going to use is, um, oh, okay, so you're going to use a trick that we sort of worked on here. And so you download this file right here, Historic NOAA Charts KML. And so you just, if you click this, that should download that file, right? It downloads it, and I'll just say, okay, download it. And so I downloaded it. And then once you downloaded it, now we're going to need Google Earth. And that's, 
I think you could do this on a tablet, but it's easier in a, in a computer. But if you have this in a computer and you downloaded it, then you can just probably just double click that. Yeah, you could double click that. Or you can open up the desktop version of Google Earth and then just drag it onto the drag it onto the uh, uh, onto the Google Earth screen. Drag the file onto the Google Earth screen. That would be. Let me just show that. For example, here is that file. You just drag it over here and drop it. Well, I just loaded it twice, but that doesn't matter. Okay. Or something like that. Oh, you didn't see that. I just drug it. <laughs> I'm, I drag it from a monitor you couldn't see. Sorry. Uh, okay. Now, now, then you can zoom in on this. This is a old. It's a old. Now, thank goodness it's old uh, because these things, these charts are all gone now, and there's no record even of where they were. Frankly, um, so you can now see what charts used to exist. You see, for Puget Sound, none of these exist now. None of these charts exist anymore. But all these are all charts. These are like beautiful charts down here of the very detailed 1 to 10,000 entrance all the way through here to the lakes and so forth. All of that's gone now. You, have, you can go to the ENC and you can make them various ways. Now I'm hitting the N key to get that straight. And let's just say I want to get this chart right here. This, we used to have this nice set of 1 to 25,000 charts that went across the San Juans. This one, then this, you know, these right here. Those are all gone now. You again, we can make them. Uh, we can make them with uh, NCC, and eventually, uh, uh, e eventually, the NCCs are going to be even higher resolution than they are now. But that's a, that's a ways down the line. So this is the one I want. So you can just when you roll your mouse on it, you can just click it, and then that I just clicked it, and that's that's done. That's what I want to know. All I want to know is what the name of this is, Harrow Strait. Well, actually, I, let's just say I want to know the number. All I want to know is the number, and I'm going to write that down. I want 18433. That's the chart I want. I want to get a copy of that chart. Okay, so now we're done with this. We've done everything we needed with Google Earth. Thank you for that. Now what we do is... Um, uh, we go to the historic chart link. Uh, where is that? Do I have a link to that? I hope. Oh, that would be down in part three. Okay, here it is. Historic charts. Historic charts. And you can just Google historicnauticalcharts.com and you would get here. But there's the link. And you click. I'll put these links in the, in the discussion, in the description. And now, now once you go here, we just there's various routes through this web page here, but I have tried to find what is the quickest and easiest, and that is when this is the way it defaults open. It comes to search images. These are chart images. That's that's fine. What we want, and then what you want to do first of all is hide this, get rid of that, because once you get rid of that, then you see all of a sudden a place where you can put a chart number, and that's what we want to type in here. One eight. 433 and then you hit enter or search rather search and now you see we have uh, that's the chart and there's the last edition so when did that chart go away two years ago 20, 2022 was the last edition of that chart it's 1 to 25,000 and that is it that's the last paper chart they had there's no more paper chart updates if you want updates in that chart region then you got to download the ENC and look at what the ENC the electronic chart says. And so, and then you can, if you want, be, we're going to download, say, the JPEG, but you could preview it, click that preview, and this is what the chart looks like. And then you, I'm roll. let's see, what am I doing to zoom it? I'm clicking it. I'm clicking it. And you see, these are really nice high res PDFs or, or JPEGs like that. And so then, if you want your copy, you would just, uh, just click that. And, or maybe, yeah, click that and then save it. I've obviously done it before. It sees it. And so save it. So then, then I've got in my downloads, uh, let's see, where is that? In my downloads over here, in my downloads, I've got that, that file and I can open it. And so now I've got that file here. And that's all, that's all we were doing for now. That's we're just getting a copy of that chart. Now, in the next video, I'll show. Now, um, 
Yeah, you 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 don't have to. You could get that printed. You could get that printed at the at your local um, uh, uh, Office Max, Office Depot. Get that printed at, a, at a, on a reg, regular chart size for about ten dollars. Or you could go and get a higher quality paper at one of those print print on demands. And the next video I'm going to show is how we can actually load this image into a navigation program so it's like an old RNC, just as if the RNC still existed. We'll do that in a second video. There's a couple steps to the process.